Welcome to Bespoke Unit. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Scorpion Tabletop Cutter. Hello, my name is Paul Anthony. I'm CP. And today we're talking about cutting cigars with the Scorpion Tabletop Cutter. Here, uh, well, this is actually known as a few other things. There's ones from Quality Importers. It's sold by a whole bunch of different people. Uh, quickly on the price point, this is around 60 bucks. And any of you into cigars that have been into a cigar shop, especially here in the USA, you've, seen you've this. probably seen this. <laughs> bloody everywhere so just, we want to do a quick review some pros cons of who it may be good for and go from there but i suppose the first order of business is to really cut a cigar with this thing so sure here's your weapon i know you're a v cutter i'm a very much a v cut man but i i do it very rarely because most v cutters aren't sharp enough and you end up just mangling the, the yeah the so cap a bit, so. with this version this is the bigger version it's around <laughs> 60 bucks and there's mm -hmm. a two cutter version as well it's 45 which i do not own so i'm not sure if it's the larger holes or the smaller holes mm -hmm. But um, on this this Robusto, this is a five by fifty. We're probably going to go with the smaller holes, mm. as uh, as you can see, the cigar can actually just disappear down there. So we're not going to get a perfect cut. So if you want to take it away, Charles. So so I actually I think the even though the smaller one is made for this kind of vitola, it's never deep enough for the V cut. So you have to go for this one. But let's do it with the small one anyway. Um. A bit scared that I'm not going to end up having a smoking cigar. Hey man, whatever, dude. <laughs> That's it. Uh, so there we go. That's okay. That's right. that's not too bad. So actually, it will be a pretty tight draw. Do you want to try a different cigar on there? Not too bad. So it didn't completely chop the leaf off. No, I'm going to be 100% to honest here. You pull to some off with my fingers. Maintain that a so little bit. So let's try it this time. Again, I don't think it's. Oh, here we go. Ah, that's quite good actually. That's not bad. That's not a bad one. If the camera can see those over here, these two yeah. side by side, maybe. We'll put them on a little bit of an angle there for you guys. Yeah. So yeah, you can definitely see there's a significant difference, but that's going to be a pretty tight mm. draw on the first one. Exactly. You know? So you actually want to use the one that's designed for the larger gauge. For so I'm going to go ahead and do the, the straight cut quickly. Okay. So this is what I always find with this cutter is that like, it doesn't actually do a bad cut with a straight cut. Mm. However, it does this kind of weird like crescent shape. Yeah, I suppose the blade that, is going yeah, as the like blade this. comes around, it's like curving around with the cigar. Mm. So, I mean, there's not anything technically wrong with it, but just something to be aware of that it does create this like semi, like depressed, like concave mm. shape. Um, it's obviously not really gonna affect too much. Uh, it might give you a little bit more surface areas so of uh, actually exposed mm. cigars. So it might be a, a fractionally looser draw. Um, Maybe a little hotter. I just feel like it's kind of a clunky operation though. Yeah, it doesn't feel smooth. Yeah, and never, smooth. you know, um, it was <clears> great. I mean, I suppose, so the pros of this unit are, one, it's relatively inexpensive. Mm. Two, it does offer some different ring gauge options that mm. you can kind of get used to. Three, it does kind of look cool and have that nostalgic feel because yeah. it's in so Looks like many, a, you know, like mm. almost like a fruit machine, you know, or the old, yeah. uh, you know, one arm bandits. Uh, also, it <coughs> holds a lot of reservoir, cigars. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we've got another video here where we review my personal favorite uh, desktop cigar cutter, but that probably only holds uh, maybe 15 uh, cigar caps. Is where this thing you could probably hold like a hundred in there. Mm. So I, I put these. You put this out on parties just because people are used to it. Although I'm not, you know, massively a fan of the performance. I probably give the performance a 2.5 to three out of five. To be honest, mm. um, as well, I'd give that a solid five out of five. Um, you know, I think it comes down to a stack. If you've got a large desk or you entertain a lot of people or a man cave, this was maybe a good addition for that, especially at the $60 price point. Mm. Uh, the cons of it are, I mean, I think we've touched on them, um, a little bit clunky in the operation. Mm. And as it's, uh, it, has, it has got these little rubber feet here, um, which it doesn't really, you know, stop you moving it around, to be honest. Um, as where well. that's a totally different rubber on the Calibri that's like almost like glue. Um, so really it comes down to personal preference. Know that there may be some slight cutting issues. Um, I know you personally have the SV cutter from Calibri, which mm. you kind of- well, Which you gave you me. Kind of, <laughs> <laughs> so I know you got that one. Uh, but yeah guys, so yeah, hopefully that uh, kind of review uh, helped you out there. You've seen us cut a few different uh, Robusto sized cigars. Um, you know, so Really, I think it comes down to, to personal preference. So, okay, love to hear your comments or questions on if you've got this cutter yourself and if you think it's good value for money. Also on other tabletop cutters that you may wish us to review or that you've used before and had great success with, we'd love to hear about those. We have a page on Bespoke Unit 
uh, where you can go to bespokenit.com forward slash cigars where we cover a multitude of different cutters as you see some on the table from scissors, punches, um, the Zycar XO, etc. And we may even start to dedicate a, uh, a specific one to tabletop cutters depending on the amount of recommendation you guys may have below. So with all of that being said, please like the video if you found it helpful. Also, uh, please feel free to uh, like our channel as we do release many videos around cigars including how to store cigars how to cut cigars how to light cigars and surprisingly even what cigars taste like <laughs> it's a uh, kind of interest we also cover a lot of other men's lifestyle topics uh with charles philippe uh he likes to cover champagne uh whiskey i like to cover watches shoes and suits so definitely come back to check out that content and turn on those notifications so you uh, are notified when those videos come up. Any other comments on final thoughts on this one, Charles? I think just about covers it. Personally, I like the look of it, but I'm, I'm too scared. I wouldn't rely on it for my V-cuts. Your V-cuts. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, I do like, uh, I kind of like the look of it. It's maybe a little bit big for me um, in size, but it does have a great reservoir. Um, Kind of an interesting straight stroke uh, concave cut, mm. uh, but it's not overly expensive at $60 right, and it's, it's a conversation it's piece mm. and it's got a bit of that nostalgic feel. Mm. So, all right, with all that being said, my name is Paul Anthony. I'm CP. And we'll see you next time. Take care.